the next few days will be rainy in Metro Manila as well as other parts of the country. Pagasa says the low-pressure area and the southwest monsoon or Habagat will be bringing showers until the weekend. Pagasa last spotted this LPA some 95 kilometers east of Infanta in Quezon Province. Although it is unlikely to develop into a tropical cyclone in the next 24 hours, this LPA will trigger scattered rains and thunderstorms over several areas. These are Luzon, Visayas, and the Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, the Caraga region, and BARMM. Davao and Soxcarjan's regions, or Soxcarjan region, could also experience rain showers. And as we have been saying, some parts of the country are experiencing rains due to a low-pressure area east of Infanta in Quezon. To tell us more, we have Francis Orsho of Panahon TV over the phone. Francis, hi, thanks for joining us. Good afternoon. So what is causing uh, this weather over Metro Manila today? Is it really the habagat that's triggering rains? Or is this one of the extreme weather events as an effect of El Nino? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Sean, according to the latest Pagasa weather advisory, this weather disturbance or that we are currently experiencing uh, today is because of the effect of the low pressure area and the southwest monsoon. So, uh, my combined effect itong dalawang weather system na naka-apekto sa atin ngayon na nagpapaulan sa malawak or malaking bahagi ng ating bansa. Right. Francis, sabi rin ng uh, pag-asa, no? Posible daw na maging bagyo or ganap na bagyo or typhoon itong LPA this weekend. Ganun pa rin ba ang forecast sa ngayon? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sean, tama ka dyan. This weather disturbance is likely to develop into a tropical depression within the next 48 hours o sa pasok yan ng weekend. Alright, and gano'ng karaming ulan nga ba ang uh, dapat nating abangan or paghandaan? Mm -hmm. For today, since we are experiencing combined effects of the low pressure area and the southwest monsoon, so about 50 to 100 millimeter of rainfall will pour in Metro Manila, Calabar Zone, Aurora, Isabela, and Cagayan. So for the following days, ganito rin yung inaasahan natin dami ng ulan. But uh, for now, for today, light to moderate rains lang yung uh, nararanasan natin according to Pagasa. Alright, siguro um, uh, uh, ang pwede natin sigurong uh, silver lining na tignan no? sa ngayon ay uh, yung mga dam natin na nagkakakulangan na nga sa tubig. Uh, would this amount of rainfall be enough to kind of refill the dams, especially Angat Dam. Mm -hmm. Actually, we spoke earlier with Pagasa. Sabi nila, dahil may nakikita ng mga pag-ulan sa Angat area, specifically in Bulacan, madadagdaga ng water elevation ito. However, the rain showers we are experiencing today will not be enough dahil malaki-laki yung kakailanganin para makabalik tayo sa normal operating level. So as for the current water elevation ng Angat Dam, uh, kaninang umaga yan, alas 6 ng umaga, nasa 178.03 meters ito. Still, patuloy pa rin na bumababa. Pero sa ngayon, hindi pa natin nakikita kung gaano karami yung naidagdag mula sa mga ibinuhos na ulan kaninang umaga. So, uh, we're waiting for the update tomorrow for um, based sa pag-asa. So, I think, Francis, huling tanong na lang, no? People are probably wondering, anong magyayari sa atin this weekend? Hanggang kailan ba tong ganitong... Uh, basang panahon, uh, do we have any idea uh, how long these rains will last, this combined effect nga no, ng uh, habagat at saka ng LPA? <laughs> Since um, sabi din ng pag-asa kanina ay lumalapit itong low pressure area sa lupa or sa kalupaan ay nakikita natin na mas makaka-apekto ito sa eastern section ng northern Luzon. Pero uh, they are also seeing the possibility na mag -re curve itong uh, low pressure area habang nag-enhance nga into a tropical depression. And at the same time, naasahan din na makaka pa itong southwest monsoon or yung tinatawag nating hanging habagat hanggang sa mga susunod pang araw. So magiging malawakan yung epekto nito not just here in the zone or in Metro Manila. Uh, we are also expecting that the southwest monsoon will affect weather in Visayas and Mindanao. Alright, kitang-kita nga natin yan sa ating uh, weather graphic na pina-flash sa ating screens. Maraming salamat, Francis Orsho ng Panahon TV. Thanks for your time.